The carrier HMAO Sydney at sea off Australia's eastern coastline. On board is the Governor General Lord Delisle on his first cruise with the RAN and paying his first official visit to Norfolk and Lord Howe Islands. There's a ceremonial occasion en route. The ship's company parades on the flight deck and then the Governor General makes two presentations. First, the long service medal to Petty Officer Engineering Mechanic M.D. David. Then a medal to A.S. Bowden, two Navy men honoured for long and faithful service in the Royal Australian Navy. Next day, Norfolk Island is in sight. This is the island of the descendants of the Bounty Mutineers, men who weren't too friendly to a former governor. But the Governor General is assured of a warm reception as he comes ashore by helicopter. Lord Delisle lands at Kingston, not far from the site of the old prison. Then at the administration compound, the Governor General meets the official guests. Ex-servicemen and girl guides form a guard of honour. After the inspection, Lord Delisle lays a wreath on the cenotaph, a soldier's tribute to the men of Norfolk who have laid down their lives in two world wars. The visit is all too brief. Towards dusk, His Excellency returns to the carrier and Sydney puts to sea again bound for Lord Howe Island. Mount Gower and Mount Lingbird rise like massive sentinels at the southern end of the seven mile long island. They're both over 2,500 feet high. Lord Howe was discovered in 1788 and settled in 1833. Today, there are more than 200 people to welcome Lord Delisle. And there's an informal picnic atmosphere as the islanders and members of Sydney's crew get together. There's an official address of welcome on this historic occasion and Lord Delisle receives an island basket on behalf of his daughter. And again, all too soon, the visit is over. His Excellency flies back to the carrier, and soon she's at sea again. He looks back at the island, and Sydney returns to Australia after an historic trip to our offshore islands. <laughs>